Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to do a craft project with fruits and vegetables. So Owen has a little bag here and he's going to pull out the three fruits and vegetables that we're going to make today for art. All right, Owen, let's see what the first one is. Oh, what is that? It's long and orange and has a stem at the top and leaves at the top. What is it? Carrot. A carrot. We're going to make a carrot project today. All right, reach in the bag. What are we gonna do next? Ooh, what is this? It grows on a long stalk in a field and it has a little yellow um, vegetable on the inside and leaves around corn. Yes, if you eat little pieces of corn, then somebody has taken it off the um, cob for you, but a lot of times you can just take this out and eat it called corn on the cob. And then what's our last one? Strawberries. Strawberries. I didn't have any toy strawberries, so fortunately I just got some at the grocery store, so we were able to look at them here. If you look at the strawberries, they are red on the bottom, and then their leaves are green on the top. So we're going to make our project look like that. All right, so for this project, we need to use our hands and our feet, and we need some grown-up help. So, we're going to get rid of those. I don't need one. Later. All right, so before we started filming, I traced Owen's hand on some red paper. So now I'm going to cut it out. The first one we're going to make is a strawberry. So if you have red paper, great, use red paper. If you don't, use markers or crayons and color the color paper that you have red. Strawberries are red. I color my fingers. I'm gonna cut your fingers out. Why? How many fingers do you have on your hand? One, One two, two, three, four, five. Five fingers on that hand. That's why you my fingers out. Yep, there is Owen's hand. You can trace your child's hand and then cut it out. Now we're gonna glue it on some paper. I have a little piece of paper here for us to glue on our strawberry. We're gonna do the glue, okay? And we're gonna make it so that the fingers are pointing down so they look like the bottom of a strawberry. Okay, Owen, put some glue on the back of the strawberry. Do you need help? You can ask. Your words and say, can I have help please? Help please. help, please. help, please. That's a great way to encourage language at home too. Put that top on super tight and then they have to use their words to ask for help. Okay, stop. That's high enough. Stand up and down. I'm going to go down your fingers. One, Mom, two, I got three, it. I got it. four, five. Good. Now you do your palm. No. Just don't rip your fingers. Be careful. Come out this way. That looks good. Got some on you. Sticky. Okay. All done. Turn it over. Turn it over. Flip it. Turn it over. All right. Pat, pat, pat. Make it pat. Awesome job. Now, if you have paint at home, then you can have, dip your thumbprint, your child's thumbprint into green paint, and then you can make the leaves on there. Or you can use crayon or marker to draw the leaves, making an oval shape. We'll do three leaves on there. Where are you going? Get more markers, okay. And then, so that we can see the seeds on the outside of our strawberry, here's what our strawberry looks like so far, we're gonna take a black crayon, or you can get a black marker, get a black marker, and this you can do little, this black marker. little lines all on your strawberry, so that it looks like the seeds on the outside. No, that's dark green. See if you can find a black marker. Let me take this cup off. Okay. I need to put that back. All right, and there is our finished strawberry. Now, 
for my older friends, this would be a great time to start practicing writing some letters. So you could write the word strawberry and they could write it under, or you could write it on a different piece this of paper. One, this one it. It's brown, keep looking. They could write it underneath, or you could write it on a separate piece of paper and then they could write it on their own paper. And then always encouraging them to write their name on the back of their work so that they have lots of space to write their name. All right, we're going to move to our next craft. I'm gonna stop this video and add another video so that we don't go too long. So we'll be right back.